Hello and welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Crafty Jojo and today I want to show you how I upcycled old ribbon spools and I created this beautiful storage box. So it has a lid that's decorated with flowers and um, obviously the box itself. And um, what I used to make this are basically empty spools. So let me just put this out of the way. So these empty spools... Um, I have left over from wreath making because I buy a ribbon in bulk so I buy uh, I don't buy per meter I buy in bulk so I have these and I because they're right quite sturdy so I thought well it'd be a shame to not make anything of it so what you need is three spools of the same size that you can basically stack like so and um, this is what I did so in order to create this box um, first of all you want to glue two together to form the bottom so this is what i did just taking my little glue bottle here and be generous it it doesn't matter if a bit of oozes out because you are going to see what i'm going to do with that so be generous quite a bit of glue on here okay and just aim like so and as you can see, this has oozed out and I'm going to use this to basically form, like fill the gap here because there is a tiny little gap. And then what I did, I do the same from inside. So I just use my finger really to smudge it. If you feel it's not enough, you can still add a bit of bit more. You still have a bit of wiggle time, but my glue actually sets relatively quick. So just get it right and then put some heavy books and i basically leave this to sit overnight so um i'm not going to wait uh, make you wait till overnight so i'm putting this away and i come back in with one i've already glued together which is this one so this is what the finished um thing then looks like and this is my lid so now you need a two three quarters of an inch die is right for my box here to create my top and bottom of my lid so i cut out four pieces die cut pieces circles and you need one piece of craft cardstock <clears throat> this one is from dawn bibi creations it's very sturdy it's 280 gsm and it's five and a half inch by eight three quarters of an inch however these measurements might not be right for you because depending on the type of spools that you have you might need to take your different measurements. What I did was I measured this length plus added half of one spool. So basically it is two and a half spools length or, or height. That is this cardstock. So I'm going to just pull it over my um, table corner here to help it help the paper <clears throat> like getting uh, trained to stay in form because this is going to form my insert which is going to go in here like so and i'm going to use actually i'm going to use these two glued together spools to help me give this the best shape possible so once you have uh, trimmed it and you have pre-shaped it you want to be generous with glue again like so And then you just pop it in and then I'm going to use this so I push my two glued together spools to the center and then I'm just basically pressing this together and as you can see I'm just pushing away so that the cardstock really sits snug as you can see sits snug with my box okay so this is what i do to create my insert and um i obviously didn't measure this right because this looks really big let me see oh it'll just so fit obviously it would be nice if it was only halfway so i'm probably going to cut a bit off here let me just get my knife because i personally like it better when it's only this so i'm just going to see if I can cut this so obviously this is going to be at the bottom of my box 
here we go. Right, so this is better. Just getting rid of that. So don't do what I do and mismeasure, just triple check, obviously. So this is what you have at this point. Um, this is basically the assembly of your box already done. All you now need to do is glue your circles and I have used two to reinforce so but I'm only gluing down one layer and I'm going to explain to you as to why I do this so again be generous there's no problem oops right there's no problem if a bit oozes out because later on oh no this is stuck next bottle please hold on this Oh, they all abandon me. Right, let me see if this is working. Yes, this should be working. Apologies for my glue accidents, but it's always happening that way to me. All right, here we go. So again, I just aim for it and this is slightly smaller. And I'm just going using the glue to um, seal this practically. And later on, because my box, this box here, I decorated using rice paper. So um, when you put the rice paper on, which I'm not going to do on camera, I'm just showing you the construction of the box. So um, the rice paper is overlapping and that's why it is not a problem that this is slightly smaller because my rice paper will be overlapping roughly to here. And then once I've done the rice paper and that has dried, I'm going to use my second one. Uh, second circle to glue that on top to um, cover it up and I'm doing exactly the same with my lid so same procedure you just add the glue be generous because it doesn't matter if it oozes out because you're still getting it going in with gesso and rice paper so that's no problem and also the glue helps to form a seal that helps keep your circle in place so here we go Pop it on. Whoops, missed it. Here we go. Pop it on. Can't see. This is really. Here we go. Slightly too small, but it doesn't matter. As I explained before, the rice paper will do the trick. You can, if you don't want to fiddle about like I do, you can go for a bigger circle die and then would need to cut with a craft knife around it, the excess. But I like it neat and I don't want a wonky cut outer line. So this is what I do. And you can see if you take your time, eventually you get it right. And this is basically the naked box uh, already done so you have the insert that then holds your lid in place I don't want to push it or I can push it all the way down so you have your bottom and this so and my other two circles I'm just going to use uh, after I have finished decorating with my rice paper I'm just going to use this to seal and then this is it so that's how I could you can see these are different ones so this is slightly smaller that's why I measured this box now I know what happened I measured this box instead of these ones and these are smaller so this box is smaller than this different um, kind of um, spools are used here so yeah this is how this went and it's really easy and they are super sturdy because um, the ribbon spools are rather strong cardboard and um, very very sturdy and yeah I love them you can go as wild as you like this one actually I got carried away a bit with all this glitter but the rice paper I used on this one um, had this crackled effect so it looked a bit like a derelict wall and I thought well let me just um, stencil on it stenciling on a bent surface is a challenge uh, so the stenciling did not come out exactly as I wanted it to be but how, however it added to the effect of the wall structure so then I thought well this really looks like um, you know the tower of an old castle that is overgrown with uh, flowers and moss and what 
you know what you know and um so i just die cut tons and tons i still have loads left over they are here sitting next to my table hold on i'm going to show you how much these are from this is my leftovers so i, I really went over the top with it um i could throw even on more but the reason so when you when you decorate your box obviously you need to leave a few spaces free where you can actually grab the lid to remove it and also where you can grab the box without um, destroying your decorations hence there are um this area is free so that it's um safe to grab the lid and pull it off and put it on easily and obviously um the box itself as well but yeah this is the little project have fun making your own boxes don't throw away your empty spools as you can see this is my next one so um this one is taller again no this one is small as well uh -huh. same okay so they are going to come out with different so that's why um measurements are no good you have to take your own measurements um and i should have actually measured my uh project instead of the ready-made box but yeah this is how it goes and um i have promised uh, somebody who was fell in love with this box i promised her to send it to her so um i thought i quickly do the tutorial on how i created this and um yeah you can go as wide as you want with decorating it or as little of a decoration as you want just basically painting it in the color is also fine it's up to you let me know how you get on with this and let me see your makes i cannot wait to see what you do um and thanks for watching this please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and the button is there in the button corner and thank you and see you next time bye happy crafting